Drop it. So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. My name's Peter Drury, and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Hi, Peter, it's great to be here. Well, the old saying goes that football is a game of two halves, and this semi-final is no exception. We are, in effect, at half-time. Players stand shoulder to shoulder in singing the national anthems. Supporters on all four sides rise for the national anthems. Lineups. Underway. Muntari. Christian Atsu. Muntari. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. El Mohammadi got into a good position down the right, just needs support to arrive. Shade too heavy, keeper can pick that up. Muntari, Christian Atsu. Trying to get there. So what now? Balls out on the left, now. Shakes the shoots! There's a goal! We're back where we started. It's level on aggregate. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Yeah, tempted and teased the keeper into thinking he could get to it, but it just eased away to catch the inside of the post. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Christian Atsu, Muntari, and the through ball is intercepted. Forward, what does he throw from here? 
cuts it out. Uh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Promising cross. Quatro Asamoa. In he goes again! Got just about enough on that, but all at the expense of a corner. Well, he's making his point pretty forcefully. I can imagine some fairly colourful language down there. Well, quite frankly, his defence just didn't do its job then and, and left them totally exposed. I think he's quite right to be upset about that. It's not good enough and, and they ought to be told. Smart save. It's a loose ball. Defending was physical, no nonsense. And it had to be. It's a forceful run down the right, but he's short of options now. Away from immediate danger. Hatsu. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Neither side really getting hold of the ball. Danger averted for now. Did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Spoon forward. Has a swing at it! Never one to be short of confidence. He gave it a go. The outcome, though, not what he had in mind. That'll be a throw. Essien. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. And it's Essien. Christian Atsu. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. We've got a goal! And the scale tips in their favour. The goal scorer for Ghana. Number seven. Semi-final reaches halfway. Well, I think it's been an interesting first half, but they'll be happy to protect their lead from the first leg. It's been a decent 45 minutes. Competitive, certainly, and a goal each. Second period then underway. They needed a better pass there. Both sides a bit too casual in possession. Al Mohammadi. Al Mohammadi delivers. Oh, that's not going to find its target. Decent hit and on target. it out of harm's way. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? It's a brilliant interception. Montari. Quadro Asamoa looking to penetrate opposition lines. Mohamed Salah. Been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. El Mohammadi, Salah, Muntari gets into the right position to intercept. 
Christian Atsu, whose goal scoring skills have already been evident. And it's Salah. Salah, can he get through? Mohamed Salah has alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Is there any support? He might not need it. And he's there to hoof it away. And you could just about hear the collective sigh there. They know they got away with one. It's Atsu! Dispatched clinically. And the comeback is complete. Not long left in this now. They have one foot in the final. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Now this could be a pivotal moment. Dying minutes, free kick, great position. They've managed to get it away. A pop. That is wayward. Gets it back. Muntari does well there. Alert. And the referee brings it to a close. They have made it, and they've deserved to make it. A fabulous cup run has gone all the way to the final day. Your reflections then, Jim. Yeah, what a way to win one of the hardest games you'll bear in any cup competition. They played the game and not the occasion, and that was impressive for me. I think that's how it's done.